Gary. Well, it is a golden day for the hit CBS soap as the world turns. The daytime drama is celebrating its 50th anniversary on the air. Generations of fans have followed the lives of the residents from the fictional town of Oakdale. And today's episode focuses on the show's seven divas who are stranded in the wilderness after a bus crash. And there's a bear on the episode, too. And we are joined by the women of As the World Turns, one at a time, Helen Wagner, Eileen Fulton, Marie Masters, Catherine Hayes, <laughs> Colleen Zenk Pinter, Elizabeth Hubbard, and Kathleen Widows. Morning, everybody. How's Morning. everybody? Morning. I know why we were late getting here, because Colleen and Elizabeth drove us in. That's right. <laughs> crashed the bus here this morning. <laughs> oh, okay. this oh, uh, let me just say first, this episode today is priceless. Because it's sort of all of you at your radiant, <laughs> crazy, psychotic best. Right? Psychotic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the word. Exactly right. Yeah. Helen, let me, let me start with you. 50 years on the show. Do you remember what your first line was? Oh, yes. Yeah, what was it? Good morning, dear. Good morning, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we Speaking did that to my so beloved well. husband, <laughs> who was in another bed. We can't sleep together yet. Separate beds back then, Separate right? Separate beds, yeah. yeah. And if you, were, if you were in the same bed, somebody had to have a foot on the floor. <laughs> That's the beginning of television. Now look at us. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, did, did you have any idea 50 years ago that you would s still be on the show, that this still would be thriving? No. Yeah. Because back in, it, when you're 30 years old, you're looking when you're, when you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. And we aren't dead. Yeah. yeah. And we've still got time. So, no, I had no idea. None of us had any idea. We just hoped we stayed on the air. All right. Let me, let me, we'll start with you. 50 years on the show. Eileen, how many years for you? 46. 46. <laughs> that is just ama amazing. And we have some sort of latecomers here. How many years? For, how many years? Mm, 35 or 6. Th 36? 34. 34. I'm just a youngster, just, 21. Just 21 years. Oh, I thought I was a baby at 22, but I guess I'm not. I wanted Isn't to be a baby at something. Amazing? Is that amazing, Colleen? 28. 28. Yeah. Colleen, gosh. Do, when you go into something like this, do you think, oh, I'm going to stay on this show for... No. 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 Absolutely Also, not. That, you know, we ought to make the point that all of us have careers in the yeah. theater. Right. We've been in New York, based in New York, actresses. so that we can work all the time. Yeah. And, great singer right in front of me and we we've all been on broadway and musical yeah. shows it's one of the great th things about doing daytime it really is Absolutely. Absolutely. it yeah. subsidizes yeah. your theatrical then career yeah. Yeah. what's that you could do it then but you can't do it now little, work yeah. late yeah now. yeah some days oh, it made a long anyway. long day uh, yes i could do it too <laughs> oh, yes. yeah all right uh how let me start eileen how many husbands have you had i've had only eight just eight <laughs> yeah but in real life i've had three so i'm giving lisa my three because they're not my anymore right. and we'll have 11. Yeah, Marie, how, how about you? I've only been married twice. Just twice? Just twice. Have you ever had amnesia? Have you ever had an evil twin? Uh, no, but I've been in a wheelchair. Right. Uh, I fell up a stairs once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you do that in life. Yeah. <laughs> they capitalize on yeah. the talent. Catherine, how about you? How about me what? How many, how many husbands, how many horrible illicit affairs? No, Marie has the horrible He has a list of affairs. Do you have the affairs? With my husband. With your husband, exactly. Okay, yeah. there you go. No, right. I've had a few husbands. Yeah. You know what? I just wanted to say that the episode that goes on the air today yeah. is episode 12,734. That's the seventh, 12,000. 734th show that we've done for As the World Turns. Isn't that amazing? That is just amazing. Yeah. Now, who has character? Does anybody have character envy? Anywhere you're saying, oh, I wish I had her storyline, or I wish yeah, I had... No. 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 no, that never happens? We're very happy no. with who we are. Yeah? Because yeah. we're very definitive. Like, I'm, I'm a manipulative. I was. You will see that in the, in the flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Nasty, un, unintegrated woman. But that 
was me, Elizabeth. Oh, well, I just... <laughs> <that's not laughs> all women. I never had a chance. I always had to play good and poor. It was terrible. <laughs> Well, I was rich and always alone. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, you can't well I've, got, I've yeah. got a refrigerator. They all got diamonds, and I got refrigerators and stoves. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. How long were you going to say? I'd say oh, the lovely thing about the show for these 50 years is that we've all had a good storyline and we've all had very good relationships with the cast and yeah. we've been a happy show. Of all, the men, of, of all the men that have been on the show, who's the best kisser? Oh, well. Don Hastings. Don Hastings, you all the way back in the time. And that's her son. I never kissed Don. I'll do it. Listen, in your bio, Colin, you should tell the name as it appears on your... Do you know what it yes. says? Yeah, so... It's, uh, my character is Barbara Ryan Stenbeck Stenbeck Munson Munson Dixon Munson Montgomery Stenbeck. <laughs> so that adds up to how many? Um, I, I've been married nine times on the show, but I married one husband three times and another one twice. Yeah. So, you know, there's multiples in there. <laughs> I, you know what this show does, though, get, uh, you know, on a very consistent basis, Emmys for the writing, Emmys for best show. It must, it must be a sense of pride that you have to be on a, on a show that's as, as, you know, 50 years and as good as it is. It's, absolutely it's wonderful. wonderful. It's yeah. absolutely really, wonderful. You know, it's and 50 it's years, and yet it's a brave new world. But also, we have the fans, and I, we should yeah. just say, yeah. uh, repeaters, we have grandmothers, mothers, and daughters, and it's one of and the grandsons most... Okay. And, yeah, and, and grandsons, and cops love us. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and well, soldiers. I love you all, too. Oh, all right. Right. Thank, Thank you so much for we'll watching today. Back. It's such a great, great show. Don't forget to Thank watch you. As the World Turns today on CBS. Great anniversary show. Jeff Baradelli from WCBS TV is out on the plaza with a final check of our weather. Morning, Jeff. Thank you, Harry. Fifty, fifty years ago, I said my first line, good morning, dear, to my beloved Don McLaughlin, who was playing my uh, husband, Chris Hughes. That was the first word that was spoken on World Turns. Since that time, millions of letters and of dialogue have been sent to the people of Oakdale. And uh, there have been new characters and old characters and moved on. And some have stayed and some have come back. And uh, some of our cast, including my beloved Dawn, have left us. But the stories and the memories and the uh, friendships that we have enjoyed together, all together with ourselves and with our fans, these are what we celebrate on as the world turns and the years go by. This is 733 4D Part 1. I went on the air and I was 38 and now I'm 87 and I have changed and Nancy has changed. I remember being at home with my mom in the 50s and seeing Lisa in a scene. Well, I don't know. One of these days soon. And to see those people that were in black and white that are here now, and I'm a part of that, that is an amazing thing. Who are you? Name's Olin Snyder. And you can call this a stolen moment, which started here in this barn many, many years ago. Cause why you like the dream Turns has been a great um, launching pad for, for, for many careers. My name is Freddie Hughes. Mm -hmm. Because you're my father. Have another great 50 years. It's that special. All
All My Children's Kendall and Zach are back together on our stage, and they've got the Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actor next. And Tom and Kelly bring dancing to daytime when the 33rd Annual Daytime Emmys returns on ABC. of Grey's Anatomy, that information includes how to have sex in a storage closet. Please welcome the stars of Grey's Anatomy. James Pickens Jr., Kate Walsh, and Sandra Wilson. Primetime dramas often take their lead from daytime series. Aside from the basics like focusing on relationships, love, lust, or even sexy doctors, the, <laughs> the notion of tackling important social issues first came to prominence on the soaps. And as a former cast member of Another World, thank you, thank you. I'm proud of the legacy of daytime dramas. The imagination, courage, and truth of storytelling are an inspiration. The commitment to quality over 260 episodes a year is mind-boggling. And so, to the most anticipated award of the night, once again, the nominees for Outstanding Drama Series are... As the World Turns. General Hospital. Guiding Light. The Young and the Restless. And the Emmy goes to... Oh, do the thing, do the thing. General Hospital. Yes. Yeah, what was it? Good morning, dear. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we Speaking did that to my so beloved well. husband, who was in another bed. We can't sleep together yet. Separate beds back then, Separate right? Separate beds, yeah. yeah. And if you, were, if you were in the same bed, somebody had to have a foot on the floor. <laughs> that's the beginning of television. Now look at us. Yeah, really. Uh, did, did you have any idea 50 years ago that you would s still be on the show? Come on, come on. Let's come on. All right, come on, come on. And we should. Colleen and Elizabeth drove us in. That's right. <laughs> Who crashed the bus here this morning? <laughs> Oh, this oh, uh, let me just say first, this episode today is priceless, because it's sort of all of you at your radiant, <laughs> crazy, psychotic best. Right? Psychotic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The operative word. Exactly right. Yeah. Helen, let me, let me start with you. 50 years on the show. Do you remember what your first line? <laughs> and there's a bear on the episode, too. And we are joined by the women of As the World Turns, one at a time, Helen Wagner. Eileen Fulton, Marie Masters, Catherine Hayes, <laughs> Colleen Zenk P Pinter, Elizabeth Hubbard, and Kathleen Widows. Morning, everybody. How's Morning. everybody? Morning. Morning. I know why we were late getting here. It is a golden day for the hit CBS soap As the World Turns. The daytime drama is celebrating its 50th anniversary on the air. Generations of fans have followed the lives of the residents from the fictional town of Oakdale. And today's episode focuses on the show's seven divas who are stranded in the wilderness after a bus crash.